in 2007, a mission of great Rabbanim from America came to pay tribute to the Shuvu school in Yerushalayim, Yerak Kodesh. The Shuvu school was working with the Russian immigrants trying to complete what they were missing in their Jewish education from Russia. On Friday morning of that trip, the Rabbanim went to Davin at the Kosel, and there was a Balchuva that was standing on the side wondering, why was there a crowd gathering around these few men? An elderly man came over, he saw his curiosity and said, oh, these are great Rabbanim from America. Do you want to get a bracha from Rav Aaron Shechter, the Rosh Yeshiva of Chaim Berlin? The Balchuva had heard of a bracha, he had heard of great Rabbanim, he never met one, so he was very excited to go get a bracha. Rav Aaron realized that this was a Baal Tshuva. He greeted him warmly. He spoke to him for a few minutes, and then he gave them, him an amazing bracha that all his dreams and goals in life should be fulfilled and that he should have clarity on what his mission in life should be. The young man was so excited, he told everybody the rest of the day that he got a bracha from Rav Aaron Shechter. At Friday night dinner, he told everybody he got a bracha from Aaron she- Rav Aaron Shechter. And the people around the table said, wow, that's amazing. Did you also get a bracha from Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky? He was like, no, I don't know no Kamenetsky. I just met Rav Aaron Shechter. The next morning at, at uh, Shabbos lunch, same conversation. He was so excited to tell everybody that he got a bracha from the Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Schei in Berlin. And everybody said, oh, did you also get a bracha from Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky? He's like, it's so funny. You should ask. They asked me the same thing last night. Who is this Kamenetsky? I don't know this. I don't know this man. So somebody went to get the Jerusalem Post, and there was a picture on the front page of the Rabbanim that were that were there. And somebody pointed out, that's Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky. So the Balchuva looked and said, oh, you know, that's so funny, because that's the one that brought me over to Rav Aaron Schechter and asked if I wanted to get a bracha from a great Rav. The humility of Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky is far and wide well known. And Rav Simcha Budim Abshischa says that it's this midah of humility that explains why in this week's parsha the Aleph in the first word of Sefer Vayikra is small, because Moshe had humility in the face of the Echad, in, face of Akad, in the face of Akadosh Baruch Hu, vis-a-vis the Alufo Shal Olam, the Aleph, so, so Moshe remained humble. And Rav Simcha Budim says, it's not Stam, it wasn't just a humility. But after Sefer Shemos, where Moshe was the champion himself and the hero himself, who took the Jews out of Mitzrayim and went up to Ar Sinai, and he saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Panim El Panim. So after that, if he could still be humble, after Sefer Shemos, to still be humble and start Sefer Vayikra with the, with the small Aleph, so it's not just somebody who doesn't have anything going for him that's humble, that shows humility, but rather somebody who has everything going for him and stays humble nonetheless. So that is genuine humility. Why do we start Sefer Vayikra with the message that most that Moshe was humble? So perhaps for the same reason, as we bring Karbanos to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Karban is from Lashon Karov, is that when we bring a Karban, we're supposed to get close to Hashem. If we do the carbon process properly, it's not just a mechanical action of slaughtering an animal, but rather the process is done in such a way that the potential is that we could get closer to Hashem, closer than we've ever we've ever imagined. And the challenge for us is that even when we're getting close to Hashem, to remain humble, to realize that when somebody climbs a mountain, the only reason why they're tall is only because they're standing on top of the mountain, not because they've elevated themselves per se. So same thing here, if somebody gets close to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, to still realize that everything that we have is still attributed to a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And on the eve of the wonderful holiday of Pesach, so this message should ring loud and clear, because the goal of Pesach, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, Asher Tzitzichamayas Mitzrayim, there's something about the Exodus story that should help us realize Anochi Hashem Elokecha, that by the time we finish the Seder, and certainly by the time we finish Pesach, our clarity and our belief and our maybe even our knowledge of HaKadosh Baruch Hu should be that much greater. And when that happens, we still have to have the humility to realize that everything that we have is only from the Creator of the world. You wrote some of the Nevin Shabbat that we should have experiences that get us as close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu as possible, but at the same time realize what our real place is and to maintain that same humility. Have an amazing Shabbos and a Chag Kasher